and good morning everybody so it's the next day today is wednesday and we are about to head towards basingstoke so we've just got loaded here's the truck i had a little go at polishing the tank last night i don't know if you can quite see only the top bit i noticed this morning that the water sort of like rather than just dropping off it's sort of formed up in the bubble it's pretty cool but um yeah so we're gonna get in the cab now this radio is on for some reason Let's have a little bit of this, Beyonce and hold on. Let's turn that radio off. Yeah, my phone's connected to the CD player, so as soon as I um, get out of range with my phone, the Bluetooth turns off and the um, CD player turns on. So let's get the old uh, GoPro on instead of this. Okay, so GoPro's now on. Turn the phone off. Uh, I need to do a couple of things. Firstly, I need to get the mic. So you can hear me better. So hopefully you can hear me a lot better now. And then also I need to get the dash cam on. Oh, and I was just taking a photo by the looks of it. Da -da -da. Dash cam is on. So. Get the seatbelt on. There's a car coming down. Let's get the ignition turned on. Lights on, steering wheel down, into gear, hazards off. And let's see where he's going. Is he coming in here? I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. Thank you anyway. I was going to let him through, but obviously don't want to, so that's fine. Yeah, so I was under the assumption that I was going to Andover this morning. Um, turns out I'm not. I'm going to Basingstoke instead. Not, not a big problem. Uh, if anything, it's better. They're about the same distance away. They're not too far in distance. Uh, the problem is with the Andover one... There's a lorry come in. The problem is with the Andover one, they, they can take ages. So we're going there, is he? Oh my god, what are you doing? You just pulled in. I don't know who that is, but you just pulled in as if to say you come on out. So I come on out. left me a lot of room though. Get past that car. That's, like I said, I've said like in the uh, in the last video, this road is so annoying, like I need to give way to him, but it looks like he's giving way to me, so I'm gonna go. But no one flashes you to let let you know. That lorry driver didn't flash me, he just pulled in as if to say, yeah, you come on through. I then start to come on through, and then he carries on coming. Never mind. Yeah, so uh, with Travis Perkins in Andover, they're brilliant guys down there, I really get on with them quite well. It's just uh, where you park is nowhere near where the bags are put. By the way, I realise you can't see me, so I'm not going to talk too long. Uh, yeah, where, where you park is nowhere near where the, where the bags are put, so... It takes a good minute to two minutes for one forklift to grab a to grab a bag, take it, and then come back again. Sometimes it takes about three minutes. And then when you bear in mind you've got like 34 bags on, that takes a while. You're guaranteed to be there at least an hour, at least an hour. Whereas this Basing State place I'm going to, uh, they are like spot on. Um, I got there once at a quarter to five fully expecting to tip in the morning stay there overnight and tip in the morning uh, and they actually tipped me that night so that was fantastic of them but yeah never mind let's uh, crack on to Basingstoke and uh, I'll see you when we get there it's going to be light by the time we get there as well right so Basingstoke is only an hour away from Southampton uh, and we put, we've, we're just getting here now really uh, and we've already been driving for one hour and 22 minutes. So 
as you can see, it's taken a little bit longer than expected to get here, but that's all right. It's just traffic in the morning, isn't it? So right now it's uh, just gone 10 past eight. <sighs> just gone 10 past eight, so the traffic's starting to build up. Rush hour traffic. And we are literally only a mile away, so hopefully we're gonna get off the road soon. Let the rush hour traffic sort itself out and then head back down to Southampton after we've been tipped. What we need to do is turn right at this roundabout, uh, head down that way, and then uh, we'll be there in about four minutes I've gone to the old sat now, but that's very dependent on traffic. If these lights up here are green and I can't go anywhere, for example, because cars are blocking the roundabout, then it's gonna take longer. Got a mo motorcycle on the left trying to get through. I shall budge over just to let him have a little bit of extra room. He's not filtering anyway. You gonna filter or not? I'm watching him because I don't know if he's gonna cut in front of me or not. No, it looks like he wants that lane. It. You stay there. You stay there. Ah! Oh, traffic does my head in. <laughs> it's good to have a stretch every now and then. When you want lights, have a good old stretch. Uh, I'm intrigued to go out and have a look at my fuel tank now that it's uh, it's light out. Because obviously I polished it last night while it was dark and this morning it was dark so i haven't really seen it in daylight yet it's not going to be like mirror shiny it's going to require a lot more effort obviously but um the part that i've done definitely looks better than what the, the part that i haven't done i can tell already without daylight so it'll be intriguing intriguing to see what it does look like right well these our lights were orange when i went through me and i got two cars behind me on the left he went through after me and that Audi just cut me up. That Audi driver is in a rush. And oh, what's this Volkswagen doing? He's in the completely wrong lane, is he? Nearly there. A couple more bends to take. Coming off here. So, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, the last time I come here, they tipped me about quarter to five at night. They're really good guys. I can't open them. <sighs> um, it's that sort of time in the morning where there could be people already there, though. So I might need to wait before being tipped. Hopefully, we can roll straight in. Hopefully. Also, the last time I come here, there was an Eddie Stobart's lorry. Um, and he was parked up uh, on, the, on the road coming up. And I just stopped, just to ask him if he was delivering to Travis Perkins, because obviously he was parked close by. I didn't want to push it. I said, all right, mate, are you parking by, are you uh, delivering to Travis Perkins? He goes, Luke, see, yeah, I watch your vlogs, man. <laughs> so, shout out to you. I don't know what your name was, but you were driving an Eddie Stobart lorry, and I'm in Basing State, so you, you will know who you are. Leave a comment. Let me know, mate. Let me know what your name is. Yeah, it was uh, just down here on the right-hand side. So, who's going to block the junction? You're going to block the junction. Thank you very much. Yeah, pretty much where those cars are, just behind them. He was parked here, and uh, yeah, he recognised me before I even stopped. And it's just coincidence that I stopped and asked him if he was delivering to Travis Perkins up here. No, I'm just trying to have a look, see if I can see any lorries in there. I can't. I see a bin lorry going in. wheel spinach.
looks like I can go in. Apart from the fact the bin lorry is in the way. So we're going to have to wait for this bin lorry to come out of the way. You just notice me. I'm not going to record any footage on the back on this one because um, I've already done three deliveries worth. And it's a lot of data, a lot of memory. So yeah, I'm not going to film any on this one. While I'm waiting, I can get the sat nav to take me back to Southampton, so that's done. That bin is in my way though. Let me go off the roundabout. Where they've just dumped the bin it is completely in the way. Um, I can't be bothered to get out and move it, I'll just wait for them to move it. So they're good guys here normally. I don't want to put it in the wrong place. I'm assuming it goes down there, but not my property. So I'll wait until someone puts it in the right place. Right, is he going to tell me to come on through? Wait for the go ahead. I don't want to go until someone said, do you know what I mean? Because you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Yeah, do you hear that noise? Sounds like you're pulling a flat tyre. All or nothing. <laughs> How close am I to those barrels, mate? Yeah, it's quite a tight yard and it's stalled then because I accelerated and then quickly braked so the engine's like oh I don't know what to do because it's automatic so I don't have control over the clutch all right what normally happens here is that we tip one side and then uh, scoot on over to the other side and then they do obviously that, the right hand side as well so next time you see me she'll be on the left hand side
Right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Probably another tight one. trailer don't clip it. We've missed that. We've just got to try and miss these wooden uh, bricks now. Not wooden bricks, you know what I mean. Bricks, bricks. Man, that's tight. Made it? Glasses have just dropped down, so we'll have to get them in a sec. I'm just going to have to stop on the road a second. Um, I'll go around here, go around the corner. And I'm just going to stop here. Because my glasses have fallen, I need to pick them up. See going down. It's a long way down. Right. Bed was on and on. Let's give him a clean. So we're done now in uh, Basingstoke, we're tipped, we are heading back towards Southampton, um, there's an awful lot of traffic according to the sat nav, um, I've just been and broken these glasses, well I've broken them, I just bent them, my foot went on them, that's better. Uh, we've got to try and get out of this turning now, we need to use up the other side of the road to get out. Unless I use up the right hand side of the road, I can't because he's coming down. There we go. Absolutely painless. So yeah, we're going to be in a lot of traffic on the way back. We've got no uh, food or drink. So it's either slug it out with no food or drink until I get to Southampton and pop in a co-op or pop in at the services on the way to Southampton and get something then. At least then maybe the traffic would die down. I mean I know I've got to pay more money but I only want one drink or two. It's not exactly going to set me back hundreds of pounds is it? We'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Either way, we're on our way back to Southampton now. Current ETA is about half past ten. Uh, hopefully we get loaded by eleven, hopefully it's nice and quick. Think divisors by one o'clock. Tips by half one because they're normally quite quick, if not two o'clock. And then back home for three. That's what I'm hoping. But back in the yard for three anyway. That is the plan, Batman. I tried to get some footage using my phone on the outside of the uh, lorry, just trying to get some different footage. But um, I'm not sure whether it was any good or not. But, uh, we'll wait and see. If it is any good, then it was a good thing. If not, then don't worry about it. Pretend I didn't say anything. Right, so, see you in Southampton. Hopefully the sun will come out. I doubt it, but one can wish. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV Class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.
Right. Finally loaded. I say that because I've been here for ages. Just waiting for two pallets. They weren't ready. So uh, normally what happens is you get loaded with pallets and then you come around here and get loaded with bags. I've done that and I still needed two more pallets. They just weren't ready. So I had to go back around here to get some more pallets and just wait where I've been waiting for quite a while. Now, now I'm out, I'm just gonna put my seatbelt on as we're about to drive onto a main road. Uh, the time now is half past 11. And um, what time did I get here? Timeline. 10 past 10. So I've been here an hour and 20 minutes just waiting to be loaded. Never mind, we're all loaded. We had a break as well. Obviously, uh, rules stipulate that in order to have a brake, you must be able to step out the side of the vehicle. And I can, they've got a brake canteen there. So that's where I had a brake. This is getting ridiculously tight now down here. It's getting worse and worse every fucking, sorry, don't, not, don't mean to swear. Worse and worse every day. Oh, I didn't vlog on the way in, but there was a van right here and I, I literally needed to be where he was cab-wise because these cars were still parked here. I couldn't get through. So I had to tell the van to, ask the van to move. I didn't tell anybody anything, I asked politely. It's quite tight down here by the looks of it. There's a tractor unit with a trailer on. Down here. Looks like I can get through. There is a car coming now. Oh, he's giving away to me, that's good. Right. So as soon as we get out of this horrible, horrible road, we'll be on our way to Devizes. So we're going to Sydenham's. Uh, 68 miles away from where we are right now. You are going to stop me. You are going to have to stop. Yeah. He saw me, but he just kept coming. So many cars parked on the left-hand side of the road there. There's nowhere for me to go. Got another Arctic coming around this corner, so I need to take this proper wide. So we can pass. Are you clear? Good. Yeah, when I first started coming to this place, I know I'd always moaned about this road, but it has never been this bad. This is every time now, like it's just hard to get in and out. It's not well, it's not hard, it's just unnecessarily difficult. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh well, never mind. We're out now. Just got this one one more corner to go. An hour and 20 minutes ago when I got here, there was a van, an Enterprise van, right on the corner on the zigzag. So hopefully he's cleared off. Yeah, he has. Got a pedestrian up there waiting to cross. Go on, mate, you've got plenty of time. So yeah, 68 miles away still because we haven't even done a mile yet since i last said it uh we should be there in one hour and 44 minutes so it's a relatively long drive for what i do uh it's in devices and then from there we go home to swindon so eta to devices is quarter past one and assuming they tip me uh quite quickly which to be fair they normally do i'm in and out sometimes in 20 minutes but let's just say they take 45 minutes, so that'll be two o'clock, and then it's an hour drive back, so I should be in the yard by three, and uh, home by four, so that'd be quite nice. That'd be uh, very, very nice. So let's get crack a in. I'll see you when we're a little bit closer to devices in about an hour and 45 minutes time. See you later.
Right, we're at the part of the journey now whereby the roads are getting tighter and smaller. We're off the motorway and the dual carriage A roadways. We're now on the single carriage A roads. Uh, more specifically, we're on the A345 right now, heading towards where we're going. Completely forgot where we're going, Devizes. Heading towards Devizes. But uh, yeah, I used to. I used to love driving down country roads in my eight-wheeler. I used to love it. Fly around those corners, you know, like, <laughs> like nobody's business. But when you're in an Arctic, um, you're a little bit bigger. Not, not in terms of width, but in terms of length. So some corners, you, you can't go flying around. You've got to use up a bit of the other side of the road to get around. Uh, so yeah, you naturally have to go slower in, a, in an Arctic. Just be a bit more careful. I just come across an Arctic just now. And we both crawled past each other, like crawled, literally doing like five miles an hour because we needed to, as we were going to hit each other. So, yeah, I, I do still like driving in the countryside, you just got to be a bit more careful, that's all. Some tight roads, some tight bends with trees sticking out, and I'm, I'm petrified that I'm going to clip my wing, my wing, a little bit, I can't get my words out, petrified I'm going to clip my wing mirror. That's the one. I've lost few in the past. You're not, as far as I'm concerned, you're not a driver if you haven't clipped your wing mirror on something. It's gonna happen, they stick out like big ears. Like Dumbo the elephant with, with ears sticking out. So yeah, like my left hand mirror right now is scraping. It's like literally brushing against the bushes on the left. But my right hand wheels are over the middle line, the trailer anyway. So yeah, you just you just need to be a little bit wary, a little bit careful. Unfortunately, now it's like this most of the way there. Got 12 more miles to do, 26 minutes. So let's just go careful. I don't want to be taking the lorry back later with a damaged wing mirror or, or anything else for that matter. Certainly not. So current ETA in devices is, uh, according to the sat nav, 13.13. So let's say quarter past one. So it's the same as earlier, we're still on schedule. And hopefully we'll, we will be out of there before two o'clock. I just, I love driving with the window down, it's just so relaxing. There's a helicopter right above that tree line. Quite a low helicopter, it looks like a police one. You might see it when we come out the other side. No, you might not see it. I'm not going to rush to get there. Right, we've got to take a left-hand turn coming up. Take up a bit of road to do it. There's that helicopter gone. Still can't see it. Okay, indicate now. Let the, the car behind me and the lorry behind me know that I'm turning left. We are going left down here. Device is. It's a little bit of a bank as well, so I can't go too fast. Don't want to. Don't want to tip the load. I don't know where that helicopter's gone, it was hovering quite low above the tree line. Now, we do not want to go on this grass because we would get stuck if we went on this grass. Come on, get up the hill. Good girl, good girl. All right, got to go slow round here as well in case there's anything coming. Because I can't see round bends, don't know about you. I can't. All clear. A lot of sheep round here. I know that I recorded 
the same journey this divisor's run. I remember recording it, but I can't remember whether it was the last vlog or the vlog before that. Cannot remember. I think the last vlog was the cab tour, so it must have been the one before that. <laughs> but never mind, you get to see it again. Different weather. Russell! Please drive carefully. I'll try to. Make sure I'm doing the speed limit. And we've got to turn left after these white houses. Take up a bit of room doing so as well. Right, let's take up a bit of the room on this side just to get round. There is a car coming, but there'll be enough room for both of us. Yeah, it's alright mate, you carry on. There's enough room. Quite sweet. There's a stick sticking out there. There's a, a bit of a stick poking out. I just clipped it on the wing mirror. What was I saying about clipping things? Yeah, it looks all right. Now there's a lorry coming. Right, come on. Let's build up some horsepower. Bloody country roads. Not lorry friendly. <laughs> Let's go. I'll meet you there. So we're now in Devizes. We are measly one mile and three quarters away. You can come out if you want. I'm prepared to slow down. No, okay. So we've got a turn coming up, which can be a bit dodgy. I've got to um, got to go right at the at the roundabout, but um, it's quite tight. I need to be in the left lane to actually make it. So need to make sure that everyone is watching out, make sure they know where I am going. Got a red car behind me. That's enough room for a car and a lorry, that's fine. Right, so I'm indicating right now, so the car knows I'm going right, it's just whether these guys know I'm turning right. All good, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We want to go right at this roundabout as well. It should be clear after this van, as long as you don't block me up. good yeah I swear I've done a recording about coming through devices I swear I can recall I can recall myself saying things but I can't recall uploading it to YouTube so I think on my laptop at home I've got footage that needs to be edited I'm, I, I don't know I honestly can't remember, because I do this sometimes, I, I record stuff, and when I go home I transfer it all over to the laptop, and then I might forget about it. So I definitely do do that. People out there wearing coats, it must be quite cold here wearing a coat. 
Right, so just got to go over the next roundabout and then it's a left-hand turn and then we'll be there. Like I said, normally when I come to this place, they're quite fast. There's this one particular guy who tips me and he is rapid, he is on it. Like, I've got to go on one side, get tipped and budge over again a little bit like earlier. So um, yeah, it, it only takes all like 10 minutes. 15 minutes tops to do one side he is on it so um personally i'm hoping for him <laughs> but we'll have to see normally what happens is i drive up the security man will, will wave me in if there's a security man there and then it'll uh, i go around the corner and have to pretty much go find someone because they do like to hide and every time i've been here I haven't had to wait, I've gone straight in. So I'm hoping to do the same today, although now I've said that, it's probably not gonna happen. Well, we'll find out in about a minute or so. Yeah, I'm sure I mentioned that building in a vlog that hasn't been uploaded. I don't think it's been uploaded. Never mind. <coughs> right, we're going to go left here. Hopton Industrial Estate. Are you moving? Yes, you are. I do see one of their lorries over there, to be honest. So we'll have to wait and see if I can get let in. If I'm not told to stop, I'm gonna drive straight in anyway. That is uh, the most song language I know. Well, at least they know I'm here. Looks like he's jumping into a forklift to come straight round. Ah, yeah, there's a lorry here. I'm gonna have to park up behind it. There was someone in there by the looks of it. Need to clean my mirrors. Not straight enough. Not for my liking anyway. The back end was like sort of really wonky still, so I'm just going to try and get over a little bit more to the right. Got to drag my trailer over. Right, that day, I will see you in a second. Right, so we're done. Done and dusted. 
Uh, well, we're not actually dusted. I need to go get back to the yard now and wash the truck before I finish because it's pretty minging on the outside. Da, 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 da. What time did we get here then? Doesn't actually say on my Google Maps when we got here. I think it was about a quarter past, wasn't it? Something like that. Quarter past one, and now it's just gone 10 to 2. So we haven't been here too long, so that's quite good. We are driving out, I just need to get a, an angle to get around that corner. I don't recall it being this tight last time. I don't think I can get around these pallets. There's some pallets on the left hand side my trailer's going to catch. So I'm going to have to go back and see if I can get another angle. I'm going to try and take it as wide as I can and if I still can't make it then I'm going to have to ask them to, to move some stuff for me. If I could get round this corner again, that'd be nice. And just try and get even wider. There we go, right, let's go back again. This time we will go as wide as we can. Let's try again. Right, this is as wide as we possibly can. Go away. Taking it so wide that I gotta do a double reverse. Still don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, might be alright. Oh, that's tight. That is very, very tight. We made it. <laughs> uh, as I was say, if we didn't make that, then we would have had to get him to move him out of the way. Because there would have been no chance I could go any wider than that. And that's with a double reverse as well. Go as wide as I can, then reverse a little bit, and then go. So, it's all good, we're on our way. That was an 0800 number calling me, so they can do one, I'm not interested. Off we go! Waybridge charges, £7.50. Got paid to use the Waybridge.
one more bump. Right, so we are an hour away from uh, from the yard. So we should be there for three o'clock, which was what we planned. And then I need to wash the truck because it's, it's minging, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, it's clean compared to what my eight wheeler used to be, but it is minging on the outside. It's just rainwater. And the footwell is starting to annoy me as well because the footwell is dirty. And just want to have a general tidy up in here, ready for Thursday morning. Because, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not really happy with the state of it at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do when I get back to the yard, have a good clean up, give it a little wash. Nothing special because obviously I'm going straight back out again for two days, but we'll give it a, a quick blast if no one's on the jet wash. If there is someone on the jet wash, I'll have to go around the corner and hand wash. At least it looks better than what it is now then. Alright, we're off, heading back to the yard. So, thank you very much for watching uh, my videos. Uh, I think this is quite a long one, so I've done it into two parts. So hopefully you've enjoyed that over the weekend. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.